Welcome back to Let's Play the Talos Principle. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I now return you to where we left off. Maybe I could... Well, if I get all the boxes... Okay. Okay. Right, there was a fourth one in that, uh, in this thing. Okay. start with, so... That was stupid. All right, not going to give up. There's still one other one. No idea how to get up there. To activate this one, I need to be standing up there. Let's make it two. Hope I can get away with just that. Don't stand there. We'll put this back in a second. Oh, uh.
That's great. Uh... Huh. Shit. I've run out of fan blades! I'm trying to get another box is the entire reason I'm doing this! planet. Now I have four boxes. on the same trick, perhaps. Okay. That was dumb. Let's get this part done. No, wait, that would be stupid, because... part where I caught up to you guys. <laughs> Something you've known since yesterday. Oh, fucking A, man. This is the part where I realized that I, uh, hadn't had my timer going, that I'd been recording for an astonishing amount of time. I got so lost in the game and thinking about you know, my own personal philosophies and the way it makes me feel and stuff that... I didn't realize that I'd been recording for 50 minutes, not 20. So I am actually halfway through the last video of the day.
Which I think I can use that to just grab that one. Okay. But I can do this. Sorry about that, burning dog fans. Well, I'm gonna edit it down. I mean, the problem is mostly with me. Explain the hitch ups in the last little bit. But it doesn't explain, uh. why the. uh, the textures are so bad way earlier. Never fear, I've got more. Right now, based on everything I've seen, my best guess for the end of the game is that if I walk into the Gates of Eternity, I will gain eternal life by becoming one of Elohim's messengers, like Uriel. But in doing so, I will be trapped inside this computer realm for all eternity. Weathertop. Hmm. That doesn't mean anything to me. Meanwhile... Hmm. Meanwhile, there's the tower. I neither know where that is or what I have done. Come on, it's my arm that can be textured, right? There we go. So much for my tower of boxes and the other one. So yes, I can live forever as one of Elohim's messengers and be stuck in this 
place forever. Or... I can go up in the tower, gain forbidden knowledge, and maybe, just maybe, find a way out into the real world. Oh, wait. Despite what, uh, the serpent says. I don't know, he seems pretty adamant about that. Oh, right! That doesn't work properly. Duh. You need to use a box. Problem is, it doesn't do me any good to get it over there. Because I can't pick it up and still have it carry the charge. See? I have it now, but it's not like that would do me any good. What is this malarkey? Okay, send that back over there. Thought. No, no, that still won't make a fucking difference. Shit. I'm still between the damn walls. I mean, I could. I guess I could just bring the box over and send the uh, thing back, but even if I have two, what difference does it make? How do you open that one again? No ruddy idea. Maybe I launch myself into that. And no way of opening this one either. Fabulous. Well, I haven't the slightest idea to do this. I wonder how they do that. Maybe they take the thumbnails from all of the uh, backups they've created since you entered that puzzle and just play them really quickly. 
Because the alternative is that they're actually recording you constantly. And, uh, for the specific purpose of playing it back when you, uh, hit the reset button. Well, I guess we'll finish off the session with, uh, this gear audio log. Which could potentially be really depressing. Let's find out. Sometimes I worry that the answers I embrace are too simple. Can we ever truly fully understand the divide between our biology and our intellect? How much is nature? How much is nurture? If my intellectual capabilities and my knowledge were replicated in a machine, would that machine be me? Would it be human? And what would be more humbling to my ego? If the answer was yes, or if the answer was no? What if I'm making too many assumptions? But there's no time to worry about my ego now. There's work to be done. Is that what they're doing? Are the robots recreations of the uh, Ian team? I didn't see these ones before. It seems my refusal to argue semantics that a computer has angered it, and it refuses to engage with me further. Elohim is pleased, which is not my intention. Sheep. Elohim is pleased because you've swallowed his claptrap. The voice of doubt is your only line of defense, dog. He is pretty nitpicky, the serpent, I mean. I mean, yes, 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 the road to hell is paved with good intentions. But if I, would, if I were to try to make the world a better place once I was, uh... out in the real world... Does it really make a difference if my initial goals are too idealistic? I started out not liking the way he questioned absolutely everything. Maybe sheep is more, uh, sympathetic than I thought. I wasn't expecting the characters to grow in the ways they have. Even the quiet confidence of one with faith is very, uh, strangely reassuring. Even if I don't entirely agree with him. God! This game actually has really well-written, well-fleshed-out characters, and my only interaction with them is through text scribbled on a wall. I was not expecting any of the, anything on this level when I started this game. I was expecting something like a palate cleanser between uh, Prince of Persia and whatever comes next. Well, as of this session, this game is officially running longer than, uh, Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. I figured this would be the next vessel. The next limbo. I didn't think, one, this would be so long, and two, that, uh, I would get this engaged in the storyline. But, I suppose that's all I can do this time. I've got editing to take care of. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play the Talos Principle. When I get back to puzzle solving, I try and work out what ultimately happens at the end of this game. Later.